Hi. Mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. His parents hired me to bring him out of his shell before college. Um, I didn't want to tackle any genre. I didn't want to work when I got this script. And I read it, and it was the funniest script I'd ever read in my life. So I quickly changed my tune, and we were on set four months later. Yeah, yes, that is true. I was, I was, uh, I, I am on a leave of absence currently. <laughs> I did one semester and then things just kept happening. When Jen called me to tell me that I had gotten the job, she called me on the phone and said, I'm so sorry, Andrew, you're not going to be able to go back to Harvard this semester. Um, so yes, I did. This was the opportunity of a lifetime. I had to. And Harvard was also like, yeah, you have to go do it. Um, but uh, no, it was a dream come true. This character is so close to me and I care about him so much and he cares so much. Um, it was it was a real dream come true and continues to be. This is ridiculous. We've just been so worried about our son. Hi. Am I allowed to be here? We can go skinny dipping. What about sharks? Men here. It's really the lack of life part of it. in here right now. <laughs> So, um, the, two of the producers, uh, Mark Provisero and Amy Odenkirk, sent me uh, this Craigslist ad from 2013, and I thought, what is, what is this? This is crazy. Um, and I just thought, who's putting this out, and who's answering, and what is this kid like? And it, it just got me thinking. And uh, then I brought in my co-writer, John Phillips, and we, you know, I, I had Jennifer in mind from the beginning as the woman. <laughs> I mean, he he had my voice in mind. I would I would hope that my judgment is a little bit better than Maddie's. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm really just doing what feels right or something that resonates with me. I have um, Excellent Cadaver, our production company now, so really just anything, you know, we don't have a specific genre in mind, just anything that I want to make. Percy. Natalie. This is your babysitter, right? <laughs> no. I'm going to teach you how to have a good time. Maddie, you can't outrun the cops.